Hello guys, welcome to Tech for You channel. In today's video, we are going to see the preparation for digital exam. So, what was the exam pattern and the preparation material? Then, what is after the assessment? What to prepare for the interview? So, everything we will see in this video. Don't skip the video. Subscribe to Tech for You channel and click on the bell icon to get the updates at time. In my last video, I have discussed everything about digital exam and it is going to happen before joining itself. And also I have explained about this exam pattern. So I am not going to explain you again about this exam pattern. So in this video, we will discuss what are the concepts or topics we need to read for verbal ability, numerical ability, reasoning, then for coding. Okay, now let's start with verbal ability. The topics for verbal ability are sentence jumbles, synonyms and antonyms, spot the error, idioms, paragraph, which means you have to read the comprehension, then phrase completion, fill in the blanks, direct indirect or active passive voice so these things you will be having in verbal ability i will explain each and every topic which you have to study then in numerical ability you have the topics like time and work percentage equations permutation and combination probability ratio and proportion profit and loss series and progression then time speed and distance and still more topics i will also discuss in this video which topic is more important compared to other topics then for reasoning the topics are like coding and decoding series and patterns problem solving figural and factual analysis decision making then syllogism so these are the topics for reasoning so hope you were aware of these topics which i have told you now I have told you all the topics in the brief manner next I will explain it clearly now what about advanced coding so you will be having one coding of medium level and the other coding of difficult level don't think this medium level coding is similar to the 15 marks IPA coding it is not like that both the coding concepts were same only but in this medium level coding you can expect only some concepts and this difficult level coding you can expect more concepts that's why you are getting 90 marks only for this difficult level coding and this medium level coding consists of 60 marks okay what are the concepts you need to read for this advanced level coding again i'm saying this advanced level coding is not easy at all even the medium level coding is difficult only now we'll see about the concept you have to go for coding Okay, so the coding concepts like data structure algorithm, which means some of the data structure algorithm, importantly, you have to go through the sorting and searching algorithm, array concept, then strings, some of the math concept, then functions. So you have five languages, which I have told in my last video itself, which is C, C++, C Sharp, Python, and Java. So you will be choosing in any one of the language for example, if you are choosing the C programming language, the question will be included the searching or sorting algorithm from the data structure algorithm. So definitely you are going to get one of the algorithm from data structure. Then you will be getting the concepts of arrays, strings or function concept. So in medium level coding also, you will be expecting this data structure algorithm concept plus one of this concept. In difficult level coding, you can expect this data structure algorithm either array or strings then function concept so you need to well prepare in these concepts so you have to prepare all these concepts from scratch if you were not aware of these concepts okay now i have told about the topics which involved in the coding now i'll tell you the preparation link so for coding preparation you can go with these two links so in these links you can find the old question papers of digital exam and tcs so you can go through these links in this first link, you will be having all the questions which is asked in previous years for TCS digital exam. And you can find the answers in three languages, which is C, Python and Java. Hope most of you will not use C++ and C Sharp. This would be better link for you to prepare. In this link, they have gave the solution in the language which is easy to solve for the particular question. So you can go through this link also. And the other PDF materials like old question papers I will be giving in the telegram group. So you can find the telegram group pinned in the comment. You can join the telegram group to get the materials and links for the digital exam. As I told for verbal, you have to go through with these topics. Sentence jumbles in the sense 
you will be for example you will be getting five sentences it will be not arranged in the correct manner you need to rearrange the sentence in the correct order so that is what sentence jumbles and you know about synonyms and antonyms next important topic is spot the error you may get many questions from this spot the error so you will be also aware of this spot the error then you will be getting this idioms then paragraph paragraph in the sense which is reading comprehension you will be having a paragraph and from that paragraph you will be asking five questions then phrase completion you have to choose one of the word which is correct for that phrase then fill in the blanks we will be giving some of the sentence and one of the word is missing so you have to choose the correct option in this filling the blanks also there is a chance of asking synonyms and antonyms then you will be asking direct and indirect speech then the other topic is active and passive voice so these are the topics they will ask in verbal syllabus all these topics were very important now i will tell you the most important topics which takes place in the digital exam without this the digital exam won't occur one of it is synonyms and antonyms then spot the error then definitely you will be getting the paragraph even in nqt you are getting this paragraph at last five questions then this phrase completion then fill in the blanks so all the topics which i have told now you will get definitely in digital exam so prepare for that then coming to numerical ability so you are know about all these topics and the topic here i have gave is time speed and distance then elementary statistics nothing but mean and median then all other topics you will be aware of now i will tell you the topics which is very important and definitely you will get in digital exam the first topic is definitely you will get the time and work then percentage then permutation and combination then ratio and proportion profit and loss time speed and distance then definitely you will be getting this ages topic then averages then allegation and mixtures so all these topics you will be getting definitely which i have told you now so definitely these topics going to be placed in your digital exam so these are the topics of reasoning and all these topics were important for digital exam the topic figural and factual analysis is nothing but you will be given a figure like for example you have four images and what will be the next image find the next image so that may be the question in this figural and factual analysis so all of these questions are important the very important topics for digital exam is coding and decoding then series and pattern then decision making then syllogism so all these topics were very important for the digital exam so these are the links for mcq preparation you can prepare from this link or else i will also share you the pdf material in telegram group so join the telegram group the telegram group link will be found in the comment apart from that link and pdf you can also find the preparation materials in explore so this is the path for that in explore dashboard you can find the tcs explore common community 2023 if you get started then you can find this digital preparation series if you enter this digital preparation series then you can find these things java python c c++ cognitive numeric reasoning verbal so you will be having the recorded videos in digital exam if you want to go for python language then you can see the video only on python so you can find the video recordings from scratch to the advanced level for all these programming language and choose which you are good at then also you can find each and every video about the topics then the formulas then everything you can find in a separate manner like for numeric reasoning and verbal so this might also helps you in preparing for the digital exam hope till this you got the useful updates and subscribe to tech for you channel to get more and more related and useful updates now we'll discuss some of the questions what after dca okay once you have written the exam and if you clear the exam then you will be having the interview so that is after the dca then the second question is dca consists of negative marks no dca doesn't consist of negative marks so try to attend all the questions then the next question is can we skip between sections so it is similar to nqt only you can't skip anything between the sections but i think you can skip between the codings then the next question is what should i prepare for the interview you have to prepare the topics on upgraded technologies which is used in tcs so for interview preparation i will put a separate video 
from start to end i will tell you what to prepare for the interview and how to crack the interview so i will post the interview video once after the digital exam is completed so subscribe to tech for you channel to get the notification for that then the next question is dca is online or offline see till last year it was online only but this year even the ipa is conducted in offline so more chances of dca exam in offline only not in online so mostly 99% you will be writing the digital exam in ion center only but 0.1% might be the chance of online also we'll see to that so you will be knowing about this very soon i will also update in my channel then the next question is what happens if i fail in dca so don't worry if you fail last year they have gave two chances for digital exam before joining itself last year which means 2022 batch people got two chances to write the digital exam if there is a two chance also this year then you will be getting the next digital exam in april itself you will be having only one month or 20 days between the one digital exam and the other digital exam but till now there is only one digital exam for 2023 batch which is in the month of march approximately mid of march don't think about the second digital exam perform your 100% in your first digital exam and try to crack the exam and the next question is any cut off or threshold marks see like ipa there is no cut off or threshold marks in ipa we have know that if you are getting 80 plus marks then you have cleared the exam or 55 plus marks then you have cleared the exam but in this digital exam there is no threshold marks or cut off mark It depends upon your competitors how they perform so don't think about all the things you have to give your 100% and make sure you are done your assessment well so you have to perform well in your exam equally in all sections then the next question is how many chances to upgrade digital last year there are two chances before joining but this year till now there is only one chance so don't think about the second chance try to clear it in one chance itself and don't worry if you can't clear this digital exam before joining you have more chances to clear this digital exam once after even you are joining have chance to upgrade from ninja or pega offer to digital even after joining so don't worry about that so that's all about today's video on digital preparation hope this video helps you in preparing for the digital exam subscribe to tech for you channel and to get more updates click on the bell icon Meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.